put it in the vise, keep it somewhat balanced. Uh, this chain is already a little bit loose, which is okay, but you want to be able to move it easily with your fingers. Uh, one of the links is green, and that'll be our marker. That's so we know it goes all the way around. So you just figure out. Is that a disconnect? I don't know why, why it's a color, but it's we know that that's there's only one green one, so we'll make one loop. Now you want to wear your safety glasses because sometimes this will throw some chips. So what we do the green they're, they're be beveled every other one. So you're gonna have to watch out because I gotta be in the way here. Okay, let me get over here. So what we want to do is. So at about 45 degrees, and you're kind of lifting up because you're trying to sharpen the underside of that tip, and you're trying to get a nice sharp point on that. So you're kind of holding it and lifting at the same time, and you want to see just a little bit of spark it means you've taken off some metal. Give it about about a five count. You know, one one thousand, two and two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's usually about enough. And we're going to keep it at about forty-five degree angle. And lifting up, trying to get the trying to get the underside of that. Tooth, so you're putting a new fresh little hook on it. Does the chain ever wear out? Do you ever take too much metal off? Well, I think eventually it could wear out. Now we've sharpened this one almost six or seven times. So I think we've got our money out of it. So you, know, you can only, usually it has to be sharpened about every, every hour of use. So. Oh, there's our green marker. 